It's your boy Superman 2000. I'm in the front here, baby. As usual, subscribe approved hat. Uh, this will be the last time I will ever be talking about Conor McGregor versus um, Mayweather. Did last time. I mean, like, the news so many times it's been on, then it's been off, it's been on, then it's been off. It's getting old. I think as a fan, I'm at the point now where I'm just ready to move on. I'm, I'm ready to move on. Either it's MMA or boxing, but I'm ready to move on. And on the same note, Conor McGregor is... A, if, if Think about it this way. He's an entrepreneur. I, I just, just read some articles, multiple articles today. Because in preparation for my UFC 211 video that I planned to do with Slamex, uh, I, I, I just realized Conor McGregor is the type of guy who's an entrepreneur. He makes business moves. Now, if the UFC were to even allow him to fight Mayweather, even if he wins or he loses, he's getting upwards of, let's say he gets 65 million or 70 million. He's, you know, he's not going to come back to the UFC and fight for 2 million, 3 million and jump change. He's going to be want that same amount of money salary wise, uh, per fight wise to the match. And if let's say he gets lucky and uh, Mayweather slips on some water and then hits his head on the canvas and not, knocks out and people say, hey, Conor McGregor won by sheer luck. And, you know, his fanboy say, yeah, he's good. No, that opened up opportunities in a boxing career. Now the UFC is going to have to get themselves involved in boxing negotiations and boxing promotions, which runs counter to their business of mixed martial arts that they're trying to promote. So, Truthfully, I think Dana White will see a lot of stuff he wants to the fight happen, but he's just talking. I don't think he wants that fight to happen. And Conor McGregor already threatened to retire last year. I mean, I was like, oh, I knew he would retire. I knew he would retire. But long term, if he wins, you know, the UFC, I hate to say it like this, but Dana White has always been the type of guy that he keeps the fighters begging for crumbs on the table. That's why his comment was, you know, we're paying Nate Diaz so much money, we may never see him again. Because he knows those fighters are hungry. If you keep them hungry and destitute, you could always give them chump change, 50000 here, 75000 there. Just give them a small chunks of change. And then when you really want to pull them in and reel them in, you add an extra 100000 And His goal is to keep the compensation as small as possible. Now, if Conor McGregor already break the three million and the two million barrier, and there are fighters behind him coming up, who's also reaping the benefits of breaking that barrier? Look at Nate; he got two million. So there are other fighters who come, come saying, "Hey, if Conor gets two, Ronda Rosie gets three, or whatever, you know, hey, I should be getting more money too." That's so now rising tide lift all boats. Now, if Conor is getting seventy and sixty-five. Other fighters in the UFC are going to be saying, hey, I may not be worth 70 or 65, but I'm at least worth 5 or 3 million. Then they're going to start comparing their salaries, uh, their uh, their purse to the fight purses, to the boxing purses. And it's going to be like the night and day comparison starts taking place. Then you, that momentum is going to make the UFC either have to pay out more money, one, or two, meet Conor McGregor, it's demand because if he gets 65, you bring him back to defend his title or to fight uh, Nate Diaz, you know, or to fight Khabib. That's, he's going to want 75 now because, hey, he's had a taste of 75. That's just the way the guy is. So I don't think Dana White want this fight to happen. I've been following the Floyd Mayweather and their camp, and they've said, hey, we've done everything in our power. The holdup is on the UFC side. Right now, Floyd Mayweather has not even assembled a training camp as yet to train for that fight. So it's like uh, even his uncle is saying that UFC wants between 80 and 50% of Conor McGregor's purse. So saying, hey, I want this fight to happen and one, and one end, then the other end saying, hey, when it happens, I want between 50 and 80% of your purse. I, in, in, in other words, I can say I want it to make it happen, 
but internally I work to sabotage everything. In business, they call that the poison pill. It's like somebody say, yeah, of course I want to do business with you. Of course I want to merge with your company. Let's disclose financial information. Let's sign these non-disclosures. And then during the process of the merger and everything has put up, they find some reason why it's not going to work out. But just by virtue of them saying we're going to merge or blah, 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 whatever, what, our stocks go up. The price of our stock go up. You know, we are, you know, we're just trading heavily on the market. Everybody want to buy some, buy our shares. But deep down inside, we know we're not going to make it happen. We're just saying that we're going to do that and we're going to corner the market with the other people. But it's not going to happen. Something's going to happen to make it fall apart. But it, the buzz it generates makes our stock go up. And I think that this is what this is about. Just generating buzz, it's a economy where your stock can go up. And when he does come back to the fight and we do see him fight, everybody's going to want to see him defend his title because while he's been out, his name has been in the press over and over and over again. So to me, I think it's just a move for Dana White to yeah, kind of move in there and say, okay, I got to keep kind of under my thumb, but at the same time, I got to make it seem like I'm giving him what he wants. Though it doesn't work out, I could always say, well, it was a tough deal. We couldn't negotiate it. So everybody is is, is playing some, some kind of card. Conor McGregor, his best bet right now is just to fight his UFC contract out. Then afterwards, fight Mayweather. But the the deal is that the UFC could stall Conor McGregor out for another 18, 22 months. And then after that, you know, Floyd has been out of action for a long time. He may not even feel like even boxing again. So it's going to be like, hey, that's a waste of my time. I'm not into it. So that's something that we may never see. And it may take so long that me as a fan, I've moved on. If it happens, I don't care anymore. I just want to see. Jermaine Randomine versus Cyborg. Once economic care defending is built, I want to see Jose Aldo versus Max Holloway. I just want to see the, the mixed martial arts division go up. On the boxing side, hey, it's exciting. There's lots more fights, good fights that have lined up. I'm going to watch those two. But as for me, with Conor McGregor, I'm done. This is the last video I'll ever do on it. That's my two cents from the fight cheer. All right, guys, peace out.